properly read the beach, you really have to come out at low tide, which I think that's about two hours from now. Um, and you have to observe for uh, offshore bars. You can see right there, that wave breaks, which indicates shallow water. Then, watch me here in just a second. See that? It dies out. That means it's crossing deeper water over there. And, of course, I don't have a polarized lens on this on my phone camera, so you can't really see the color difference in the water, but out there where the bar is, it's discolored, and there's a, there's a trough here between the beach and that outer bar where the water's deeper and the water's more green, it's more clear. And it's in this trough right here is where the fish are. A lot of people think you gotta throw out 500 yards to catch fish. That's not the case. A lot of times, <laughs> They're in waste to uh, chest deep water. Generally in, in troughs like this. Uh, the best place, if you can find it, of course I was out here early, so the tide was still up too much for me to be able to find such an area, but if you can find a bar like this that has an actual break in it with a rip current, um, if you fish that rip, that's gonna be most productive. 